Um, my name is Parker. I was born in uh, Dallas, Texas, United States. Right. Um, graduated high school back in uh, 2014. Um, that's, that's a while ago. What have you been doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I would say I've started to realize and figure out after I graduated high school because I decided to, to not go into uh, college or anything and just see what I really wanted to do. Right. And uh, right. I'm starting to figure out who I am as a person and what I want to do for the rest of my life, you know, slowly but surely. Um, I'm 21 years old now. Uh, throughout school and stuff, I didn't really like to read or anything like that, but now – I've, I've realized how uh, important reading really is. And so I've um, dwelled into self-improvement, self-help, things like that, and just becoming the overall uh, best person I can be for myself, which, you know, if I could be the best overall person, then I could, you know, do anything that I could put my eyes to or set my mind to. Because, um, you know, deep down, I'm, a, I'm an empathetic person, and I want to change the world in some way. I want to be significant to people. I want to bring people, uh, you know, to the positive light that they can do something too and, you know, change the world for the better. Because all I see life now is um, me just being here as a human being, how lucky I am to be here as a human being. I could be some animal. I could be a squirrel, an ant, or something like that. But no, uh, I am pretty grateful to be a human being and, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen after I die, but, you know, I might as well do something here, something pretty progressive and something that will change the world for future generations. That's, um, that's pretty bold for somebody your age. Uh, <laughs> really, really, that's what people tell me. That, and I really, really commend you. Um, you are what um, we call an old soul. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, in as much as your earthly years do not resonate with where your mind is right right now. R right. 21 year olds want to go to Vegas. They want to fuck as many girls as possible. They want to uh, go to as many parties as possible. They want to do all right. the drugs. They want to do all the parties. They want to do all the stuff that is meaningless and is not... Um, going to fulfill them in the end. And there you are sitting there and telling me that you want to make this your thing. All right. You want to, you mm -hmm. want this to be your livelihood. You already know where you want to be. You already know how it's going to be. And the right. exciting part, Parker, is your age. Okay. And don't mm -hmm. let nobody take that away from you. When I was 21, I did not know shit from brown bread at all. Okay, <laughs> so where I was gonna be, I didn't know. Sometimes you catch me face down in a club, and I wouldn't even know what my name was. Okay, yeah, so that part I respect you. Now go on. So, um, I've wanted to become an entrepreneur um, in some shape or way or form. Uh, you know, it doesn't really necessarily matter what type of job I'd say necessarily or what business that I decide to grow in because, you know, um, I mean, I want to grow a business so I can have money, so I can have financial freedom and financial independence because, you know, money's not everything, but it can help you get the things that you want. It can help you do the things that you want to do. Um, so, I mean, that's where I'm at right now is I want to build a business. Uh, and I think social media marketing or things like that because I, I like to talk to people. I like to, you know, sell myself to people. Um, that's a strength that I've realized, you know, within these last three years of getting out of high school that I've realized about myself is that I'm, I'm, I'm a people person. Um, you know, I used to be very introverted and now, and I, now I'm a mix of being an extrovert, introvert, but I'm much more extroverted than I was before. Right. That's, that's, that's a good place to be. All right. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's really all I've been doing because, you know, before when I was like, you know, just being a child, a teenager and getting older and older, I didn't really, you know, realize who I was or what I wanted. I was much more of a ego minded, egocentric person without even knowing it. And, uh, 
I'll have that conversation with people today who are my age, my friends, and they have no idea, have any idea where I'm coming from at all. But, you know, that's just how it is. Um, I can, I can totally understand because 21 year olds, like I said, are they trying to look for the next girl, trying to look for the next right. thing. All right. So there's right. no way, shape or form that anyone would come, you know, at, at that age and already know where their life path is going to be. And, and the biggest thing is you're already talking about death. You're already talking about legacy. You know, you're already talking mm -hmm. about you know, you want to leave some sort of impact. And then and, and I feel like right. these, these are the kind of words that you hear from people that are 40 years old and they've, you know, tried everything else and they don't have anything else to do with their life anymore and they just mm -hmm. think it's a hope word to play with. But I feel right. like you're saying it because you've got something in you. Your core knows exactly where you want to be, but maybe you're not there yet. Right. Very right. Right, I feel and, that, and your whole perception of wanting to help people in such a holistic way, and and in a way that will put you, um, you know, would take away the ego. Because once you start leaving from a transient level, okay, there's a, there's mm -hmm. a have you ever heard of um, Maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs? Yes. Okay, right. So essentially, when you are at the bottom level, all you're thinking about is, you know, just hooking up, drinking, leaving, right. breathing, eating, shitting. And then you get to right. a certain level where you just want the security and you really want to have people around you and then you want love and family and all that stuff. And then you get to enlightenment. And I right. feel like you are at that stage and it just needs to pop up. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I would say I agree. All right. And, and do you know how to move yourself from where you are right now to where you really want to be? Um, I wouldn't say, yeah, not necessarily. Okay. Do you know who you have to be to become the person you want to be? The person that brings positivity out of people, the person that helps other people in life. Do you know who you got to be part of? Yes. All right. Well, how do you think you, 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 who do you think you have to be to become that person? Well, I think I got to be, you know, first of all, determined and actually really, really determined, um, you know, because or in, in disciplined, very determined and disciplined, because uh, that's something that I, I can just see in people in general. Uh -huh. you know, they don't necessarily like live like the good life, you know what I'm saying? Or <clears throat> I'm not sure if you ever read a book called The, um, the Millionaire Fast Lane. Right. Yes. And, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's about people who live like the slow lane and then like the the sidewalk lane and like the fast lane, you know. And even in, in my own parents, you know, my dad, my father did really well for himself. You yeah. know, he's, he made a lot of money, but I could still see in today where he wishes where he could be, you know. And I know that I'm gonna have to be very disciplined and very determined and really, you know, make sure that I like that I discipline myself to do the things that I need to do to get where I want to be, to be the best person or overall person that I can be. So that, you know, comes down to reading a ton that comes down to writing my goals down. That comes down to, um, perfecting those goals, um, getting out of my, uh, uh, my uncomfortable, getting out of my comfort zone, being uncomfortable. Great. Great. At least you've got a rough idea of where you got to be. You've got a rough idea of how um, you probably are going to do this, which is really fascinating and interesting. Like you mm -hmm. say, being 21 and already having so many answers, um, you know, and having taken this much action in as much as, you know, you know, when we started talking, first of all, I must admit you were speaking to my robots. I was out cycling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I could, there was one message I could probably tell. I was like, yeah. Which one is that? I think it was the uh, the one where one of your coworkers said, uh, or one of your employees said, holy cow, so-and-so followed you today. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I, I do have a guy called Patrick, though. He does my SEO. So, <laughs> okay. so that part, that part is, is, is okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's small things like that, that, 
you know, you never know what the universe has in store for you. You can only connect the dots when you look backwards. Uh, whatever brought you along the path of having this conversation with me today, nobody knows, all right? Um, right. And whatever got you to take that much action in as much as saying, okay, why would I do this? And then I just told you bluntly, I didn't want to sugarcoat it or anything. I was like, if you meet right. the right people, you do not go through the whole pain of, you know, people dilly dallying or whatever. When you meet the right mm -hmm. person, you know, they're more than happy to share their path. They're more than happy to share where they've been, how they've been and where it is that they want to go. Right. And, right. And very lonely when you're right up at the top. I'm not saying that's where I'm at, but it's very lonely. Conversations are a whole lot different. Okay. We, you, you have a conversation like this with, with some Parker from Texas or wherever, and it feels like I've known you forever. Okay. You, you understand right. the difference. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. It, 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 we're not talking about the weather here. You, you, you just got on the phone and, and you felt comfortable to just tell me, your whole life plan, goals, and everything else. You see how different right. that is? Right. Yeah, I understand okay. for sure. Great. Let me just close the door here. My little girl was in and... Um... Sorry, are you ready, What did you say? Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, you want to go with mom? Yeah. See my little one? Say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> she's, she's, got the, she's got the wave down. All right. Yeah, no, she, she does. Um, yeah. Um, it, 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 this, is, this is what I live for. That is my life, right? So mm -hmm. I'm not out here to say, okay, let me do this. Let me help you for, you know, I, down the track, I'm going to create a world that's livable for my daughter. And if I make something out of it, if I help another person not to fuck up when, you know, just maybe one day you get angry and you want to bomb the whole place up, at least if I contribute in making you find your why in life, then I'm making a better and safer environment for my daughter in the process. Am I not? Right, right, right. Right. So obviously you are warranted to ask, yeah, why would you do this for free? I mean, obviously there's a lot of angry people out there. There's a lot of really skeptical people out there, but you did that. I just told you right from the bar that dude, if you find the right person, they're more than happy to share what it is that they know and how you two can get to that position with them. Right. All right. So from what I hear, you, you're one determined guy. You're one guy who really wants to uh, grow. My name is Prosper, by the way. So I was going to say you're one guy who wants to <laughs> prosper. You really want to uh, right. do well in your life. And at 21, I would certainly, certainly, certainly recommend that you just keep going at it. Okay, in, in, mm -hmm. in as much as you are going to find a lot of shiny objects on the way, let them off. You know why? Because everything takes time. Whatever, whoever tells you that this is going to be an overnight success is lying to you. The career that you want to choose, especially with social media, that's what you want to do, right? Right. I've been doing this ever since the internet was invented. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a, a bit of a while i'm 33 now um but i've been really serious about my business for three years okay i have managed to build a bit of an income for myself but it's not easy okay. i'm not gonna tell you right you're just gonna wake up and things are gonna be fine okay i sit mm -hmm. in the office every single day and i'm crying you know why because when i get out i see my little girl and if i haven't right. made money or if i haven't done anything all right now you are going into this already you, you you don't have any overheads you don't have a family to look out for you're gonna just right. create it for them by the time you do have one everything is all set up mm -hmm. all right that's so the goal you 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 coming in at a very very um you know lucky stage you know, and I really, really wish I had that opportunity when I was starting, but you've got it in space. And then I don't want you to let go of that. You know why? Because you've got it. Okay. Right. Okay. So without really wasting your time, um, 
I really would want to see if I can help you set up your own digital marketing agency. Okay. All right. It's, yeah. it, it's really, really, really simple. You get the clients and then you outsource the work. Mm -hmm. All right. So okay. you don't, yeah, you don't really have to worry about how it works. You don't really have to worry about what happens to the clients. The clients are, would be taken care of by somebody else who knows the job, who knows the SEO, who knows the AdWords, who knows pretty much all the stuff that the whole agency does. Your job, right. make sure you bring the client in, they sign up with you, and then they pay you your money, you pay the person who's doing the work, everything is everyone right. happy, and your only problem really is when your client is not happy about something and then you have to negotiate between mm -hmm. them. Okay. So does that sound like a, a whole holistic plan that you can get your hands on to? Oh, if not, then maybe it's, it's not going to work. Uh, I think so. Yeah, for sure. All right. So it's, um, I don't want to lie to you. It's not going to be easy for people to start knowing and liking and trusting you. You gotta really, really put yourself out there. Now, is that something that you're willing to be doing? Yes, that's something that I've learned about. That you know, gotta get you out of your comfort zone. That's the only way to grow. Okay, right. So normally, for me to do all this, I would put you through what is called a trigger course, and normally that I charge two thousand five hundred for that. But like I said to you, I'm gonna do this for you for free in exchange. Okay testimonial how does that sound okay all right so sure. Sure. yeah yeah what we will do is i will try and do it really in the fast track get you all set up what might stop you that's what i want to know what is it that might stop you from doing this and uh setting up your own agency um probably the only thing would be i mean just the the natural feel of fear but, you know, at the end of the day, you got to take risks to get where you want to go. So, I mean, because you know, I don't have a job to tend to right now. And I'm lucky enough to be living with my parents who I rent free. Everything's free for me. Um, the only thing that I was really planning on doing before actually trying to start my own business was join the United States Air Force. Uh -huh. so, I could, uh -huh. so I could have some income. But, you know, that's the only thing I was planning on doing if, you know, something like this wouldn't work out. Okay, how much time would you give yourself to set up? Um, like how much time do I have during the day? Is that what you're saying? Right, yes. Uh, pretty much any time. Okay, right. And what sort of resources have you got at the moment? Have you got a laptop that you can use for consultations? Yes. Okay, have you got uh, a mobile phone that when people do ring you, you're available to pick up the phone? Yes. Right, great stuff. And where would you say, see yourself proficiently um, on a scale of one to 10, if somebody asks you a few social media questions like Instagram or Facebook, or how do I do this? Where do you see your knowledge with regards to marketing? Um, probably from one to 10, probably like an eight, probably a low eight. Okay. That's, that's good enough. That's a lot more than a lot of people do know. And also I like the passion that you have because most people go into this without the care, right? When you don't have right. the care, people feel it and they don't want to work with mm -hmm. you. All right. Right. So, so your whole big thing, you got me at, you want to bring positivity into people's lives, okay? Some people just start right. it and they don't really know why they've started it. They don't really know where they want to head off to. They don't really know um, essentially where they want to end up as, okay? Right. All right. So, first of all, if you would start, what sort of resources, monetary resources, do you have set aside or can you pull together to say, yes, I've got this and I want this to work for the rest of my life. How much would you say you are able to bring in for yourself? Uh, is, is it like money-wise? Is that what you're saying? Or yes, money-wise. As of like right now? 
Um, like, are you saying bring in from people, from clients? No, or no, no, bring no, no, in? no, 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 from you, because you're going to need to set up maybe a couple of softwares here and there uh, yeah. that are like 10, 15 bucks, a hundred dollars here and there, just so that you, you get things on the ball. You're going to need an initial sort of upfront fee. How much do you have? Probably about 300 bucks. Okay. We can scale that $300. Okay. Does that $300 have to pay for your phone bill, food or anything? Nothing. All right. Cool. You've got Zoom. So you will use all your phone uh, connection. You, who pays your internet? My father. Great stuff. All right. Cool. So you are really good to go per se. Um, okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, right. So if you can see my screen, essentially uh, what you have in front of you is the ultimate blueprint that would create your business. Okay. All right. So I'll just go through it real quick with you and then maybe we can set up another call and then let me know if this is what you want to go ahead with. Okay. Right. I have created my own business in as much as it's brought me um, a trip around Australia. It's bought me a house. It's bought me another investment property. It's bought me a Rolex. It's bought me and afforded me not to go to work. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is something, I mean, you can go through my Instagram if you really want to clarify. And also I will give you, um, a, you know, maybe my Facebook or whatever it is. Anything that you might want to know, just so you can verify and look up on me on um, on the what do you call it on the, on the internet, okay, right. or whatever whatever it is that would make you uh, have a solid understanding of where we are right now and how we are going to be doing this. All right. Okay. Okay. Great stuff. Are you happy with what we are doing so far, or where we at? Yes, for sure. Okay, great. So essentially, this is um, this is this is this is what it is. Okay, you are seeing what has created plus or minus two hundred and fifty thousand in the previous year, which is in in line with this um, uh, blueprint. First of all, when you really, 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 really want to make money on the internet, you gotta know who you're selling to. All right. Right. So I will help you f figure out your niche. All right. I'll help you figure out the type of people that would actually promptly buy your services. All right. And you should be then able to articulate what their pain is. Right. Your pain right, right now is you want to bring a lot of positivity to people, but you don't know what vehicle to use. And the solution mm -hmm. to this is we're going to create for you an agency that would let you reach those people and bring that positivity. So we are so pain right and the payoff right. for this is going to be monetary for you the payoff for this is going to be you creating that happiness within your clients mm -hmm. all right and the payoff for this is everybody's going to be happy after they have dealt with you you know why because you're young you're going to be successful and even your parents are going to be proud right all right right and then the product that you're going to be giving out is whatever your client d demands okay whether it's a uh, social media whether it's the um services that you're going to be providing this is just basically the capture phase of your digital marketing agency mm -hmm. all right okay but then after that we will then go in this is where a bit of money is needed where we start creating the content for you okay People do okay. things with those that they know, like, and trust. Mm -hmm. okay? So the only way you can create know, like, and trust is by engaging them with useful content, in mm -hmm. educating them on what they really need, positioning right. themselves as a person who can solve their problem, okay? And, um, you know, inspiring them. You've got an inspirational story. You've inspired me already. You're 21. You already know your why. You already know what your goals are. You already know where you want to be. That's mm -hmm. power in its own right. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then, right. and then we go on to 
the aspect of um, just give me providing value. Okay, so you right. are paid in direct proportion to the amount of value you provide into the community. Okay, right, so right. That's why have you ever heard of Gary Vaynerchuk? Yes, Gary Vee. How much value he gives out? Yes, for sure. The more value you give out, Grand Cadon, you, you you just scroll through your Facebook or whatever, you already see him. All right. Mm -hmm. So the more value you give, the more money you get paid. You know why? You're reaching out to a lot of people. You're helping out a lot of people. A lot of people are going to share your stuff. A lot of people are going to know, like, and trust you. And people do business with those they know, like, and trust. Right. All right. So once people already know you, do you think if Gary Vaynerchuk comes to you right now and tells you, I will help you set up your business. Just pay me $10,000. Would you, and I will talk to you face to face. Would you not go out and really search for that money or ask your dad to give you a loan? <laughs> Probably. Yes. Right. Okay. So what he has done is he's created that positioning that people mm -hmm. will duck hoops for him. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you will be Gary Vaynerchuk status, but we will create that. That if people say, meet me at 10, people will jump and meet you at 10. Because you position right. yourself as somebody who can provide value and people are looking for that value and you have the solution to solve their problems. Are you with me so far? Yes. Okay. Right now, every, you probably, what have you tried selling on the internet? Um, I mean, not much of anything really, to be quite honest with you. Um, I've just been lo looking into a lot of things, uh, but majority of the easiest ones that I've came across would probably be like affiliate marketing and stuff, but I don't know much about like, you know, SEO, like search engine optimization and building websites quite yet. So, um, All right. and building a following so I could get, you know, people to go to links and, you know, go to Amazon and buy things and stuff like that. So I'm just now beginning to learn and, um, I mean, the only thing that I guess I've really sold is just random stuff off eBay. Okay. But do you see using this system, you would start attracting the right kind of people when you know they're paying, when you know what it is they're looking for and what payoff they're looking for? Yeah, for sure. Right. Okay. So I'll be teaching you all these pillars for you to start okay. attracting the right kind of person who will be buying your kind of stuff. And then in the end, you will also be able to create products for yourself. All right. Okay. That's where the money is at. Right. All right. So once you've created that content, all you're doing is just converting those people. You're no longer mm -hmm. selling to them. You're now just solving their problems. All right. Mm -hmm. And when you solve people's problems, how do you feel right now? Having spoken to me for the last 10 minutes? Um, pretty good. Right. Explain that a little bit more. What do you mean pretty good? Um, you know, I feel like I'm in <laughs> good hands, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, you obviously know more than I do about these things and you could definitely teach me, um, probably a lot, very, very a lot. Um, that's just like you, you, you provide value to me, which you're solving a problem for me. Does that make sense? Exactly. Right. So uh -huh. are, are you happy you took action? Yes, absolutely. Right. So they, that is where you want to put your clients. All right. Okay. You want to put them in a sense of ease, right? Because the mm -hmm. internet is overwhelming. People go to the internet to get a lot of information. And if you're the right. one providing them with that information, then they don't have to Google nothing. All right. They just come to, mm -hmm. to, Parker Show, um, to the Parker Show. You've got a really good name for internet. I <laughs> appreciate that. All right. So it, it, it's really easy for you to actually just start a YouTube channel that's called The Parker Show. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's good for SEO. You're providing value. All you got to do, Parker, let me tell you something. Read something beforehand and then just repeat what mm -hmm. you read. Mm -hmm. All right. Because there's so much information. People don't really care what you know. They care what it is right. that you do for them. All right. right. So if you are as, 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 um, you know, if you are as enterprising as, as I feel like you are and then you, you, you give out as much as you can, right. You mm -hmm. will be in a position to actually become one of the greatest people that we will encounter in this whole digital marketing space.
Because you're coming hey. in in a uh-huh. holistic approach. You're not coming in for the money. You're not coming in for the um, get rich quick schemes. Right. The reason why I wanted to do a face to face talk with you is so that you feel my energy and you really notice that I'm not here to bullshit you. I've no time. Right. I got you. All right. So I might sound like I'm yelling at you, but that's just just me. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I understand for sure. Right. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I got you. So all you're doing now, once people have already engaged with your content, you educate them, you're positioning yourself as, as that person who's solving their problem. You inspire them. You're providing tons of value. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All you then do is solve their problems. And then you're no longer selling people will be coming back to you and letting you know that this is where they, um, this is where they at, this is how it's going to be. And this is how it's going to work for them. Doing right. a lot of online marketing, which is what I will then teach you how to convert all those people, what hooks to give out, what, what stories to tell, you know, how mm-hmm. to present yourself in a way that people just radiate towards you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. If you right. Really look at how you, gotten into having this call today i don't know how long you've been following me i think i just follow you today <laughs> all right and already you yeah. automatically you're already on a call and we're already changing lives aren't we right now can you imagine if you then make that into a career of yours does that not fulfill your promise you made to me that you want to bring positivity to people's lives oh absolutely and has that taken any effort or has that taken any of your, you know, has that changed the course of where you probably are going to head off? Yeah, I would say, yeah. Great stuff. Okay. So essentially after that, you're creating long-term relationships. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you then build an authority that a lot of people cannot achieve. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, relationships are more important because even if we don't end up communicating today, but you're going to be left with some big scar in your entire life that one day you probably just come and check on to see what I'm doing or what my daughter is doing. Right. That's just how life works. Right. Yeah. And, and, and you build loyalty amongst people. You know why? Because once you change somebody's life, they owe you their life. All right, and, and, and you, 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 you're now approaching life in a holistic way and it's no longer about the fast cars or whatever. That will come. Yeah. You know, that will come. And then you, you become an ambassador of humanity and you create a community around yourself. Mm-hmm. All right, so all in all, this is where it's at. This is generally what I feel you can bring about um or you can do with your with the way that um you know you you've presented yourself to me you i i see you as somebody who can you know tackle this as as um you know as a business and it doesn't feel like it's a business it doesn't feel like i'm working right now but i'm working right right Right? i understand for sure so this maybe this is where you really want to be live around you know the people that you care about you just saw my little girl and i took time to just let her know that i'm going to be on the phone Mm -hmm. yeah yeah can you hear me no no i can okay okay i was just making sure (laughs) but yeah i get you because that's what i tell people too you know Kids my age will sit there and be like, what are you doing? What are you up to? And I'll be like, I'm working. I'm reading. You know, obviously that's a lot different to most people because, you know, if you're not working, you, you have to have a job or something as people think work is. But not to me. So where do you see yourself in six months if you follow this path? Oh, six months? Uh, you know, hopefully changed – a big handful of people's lives in some aspect, some way, uh, helped them um, promote their business and uh, help them <clears throat> help their uh, their income go up when, as well as my income would go up well too if I were to help them in the business I'd be creating. So hopefully enough money in my pocket so I can go, you know, live on my own 
um, provide for myself so my family can stop because my father and mother have provided too much for me. And it's time for me to return the favor eventually. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's where I see myself in six months, hopefully out of the house and uh, giving value to people. Okay, Parka, how, how much time are you gonna dedicate to making this a reality? Um, it might be unrealistic to say, but uh, I would say 24-7, 24 hours a day. Okay. Probably, I mean, re realistically, probably 10 or so, you know, all cool. day. Since this is going to be something that I'm going to be doing for free for you, mm -hmm. and it's going to be taking up a lot more of my time, convince me why I should, why I should take you on as a student. Okay, well, like what you said earlier, when uh, me and you were having this conversation, uh, you know, I'm not really sure how many students you've had who have, uh, you know, been approached on the same day and taken your course or believed you in taking your course and went ahead and scheduled a call uh, the same day or the first, you know, within the first three hours or so. Um, but, you know, I don't take life for granted and I'm not going to um, I see the world a lot differently than I would say than most people and you know that's not I wouldn't say that's necessarily a gift or anything like that because um, I'm not cut I'm not cut from a different cloth I believe everyone's cut from the same cloth some people just really want it more than others and realize more than others um, you know <clears throat> I think that if you took me in as a student that would bring a lot of value to you because you know, you brought a lot of value to me. And uh, I mean, I've always learned that you need a mentor. You need multiple mentors sometimes to get you where you need to be. And almost every successful person has told me that in some way. Um, but yeah, I guess that's my, uh, what I think. Great. Cool. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> um, I'll shoot you through you know, um, it's not an application form anymore, but I need your details. I need to see where we're going to be working. And then we, we work out a plan, um, okay. essentially of how often we're going to be meeting and how much work I need you to be doing, what I need you to have and what you should expect from me and what you need to have created after the eight weeks of us, um, working together to build your, um, business. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Then pretty much after that, I'm going to need a solid testimonial because I know you're going to be acing this. Okay. All I can right. do that for sure. Great right. stuff. Well, it is a Sunday this end. I don't know what time it is there. Uh, it's about, I think it's like 6.40 p.m. On a Saturday or on a Sunday? Saturday. Okay, so if you're gonna play the Powerball tomorrow on Sunday, I'll just look up the numbers for you and I'll put them in the in the in the email for you, right? Okay. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay, this is a bit exciting, uh, maybe for both of for us. Sure. So for what sure, I yes. what I'm gonna do, give you a virtual handshake, um, <laughs> pretty much, and then go to work, plan out what it is that we're gonna do, how exactly we're gonna tackle it, and then you just come back to me and tell me that. We're going to go ahead with the plan, build you up into one gigantic uh, standalone business, and then we just start, you know, helping you out there. Are you on Facebook? Um, I'm not, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't use it. But I feel like I should since I'm getting into all this. Right. You're definitely going to be wanting to be on Facebook because that's where most of your traffic is going to be coming from. Right. Right. Makes sense. So you want to create right. that. Okay, have you got a website or anything set up yet? I do not. Okay, we're going to work on that, all right? Okay, so I'll okay. work out a plan for you, and then, you know, you you let me know if it's congruent and it's working for you, and then we already start, you know, um, and then you tell me where you want to go, and I'll try and deliver you there, all right? Okay, all right. Good work. I appreciate man. it. No problem, Parker. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye for now. See ya.